Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town where it may look like nothing is going on this episode but what I'm hoping is that on the 15th we will be able to go and get a pet. Now I won't be able to tell until tomorrow whether the weather will be sunny. It'll be sunny tomorrow but I don't know about the next day. And it's Monday, so tomorrow we need to check on, on stuff as well. Yes, we do. Right. Uh, by stuff, I mean we need to check on uh, the cooking channel. Just in case you didn't realise that that's what stuff meant, you know? Just in case. So the little guys are here. I'm just waiting at the moment for uh, the grass to kind of grow around here. Uh, I've also got a storm that I'm trying to sort of clear up after and what we're basically trying to do here Actually, I will probably hammer some of these ones because they are kind of in the way of the grass actually growing So where they're actually in the way of that I'll pick them up especially the weeds around here as well They're all stopping the grass from growing so that's not good I want as much grass as we can possibly get so let's let the animals all out um, I've given up trying to get the grass to grow up here. What I'm hoping is that eventually it will just grow on its own. That is what I'm hoping. I have to, I have to turn the volume down there a little bit because those, those guys are super loud. Right, and I'm gonna let the chickens out as well. Uh, let's get these, get these out of the way. Giant rocks to smash as well. I like my farm to be nice and clean and obviously I've got this big old These big old weeds in the way and these big old rocks in the way where we had a big old storm But the storm wasn't too bad. It didn't take out too much stuff So I was reasonably happy with that Let these guys out I'll just do a little bit of scything along here just to keep that edge tidy and that also just allows me to have a little bit of fodder that I can pop into the uh, storage for the winter. Everyone's just out there being happy. There's no birthdays today, nothing like that. So I think I'll just pick up all the weeds around the farm and then I'm going to go see the Harvest Goddess. And actually no, first I'm going to go see Huang and Kai. Because they're more difficult to catch. Especially Kai because this thing, oh his place... I think it closes. It's either 11 or 1. I can never remember which. But those guys are like really, really low on the old uh, friendship scale. So I'm just wanting to bring them up a little bit. I mean, I know there'll be plenty of time. I plan to play this for another couple of weeks and to, to really, you know, really smash it. I know I've not been necessarily putting up even episodes like every day lately, but... I am really hoping to get them up more often. Are you know, someone that likes oranges? Whoa, this is for me? Cool, thanks. Okay, well, that's good. That's very good. Actually, Kai is like halfway down. Still only likes me two notes. Yo, how's it going? I think I may be really messed up. Quite a lot. So, Zach is already at 10, so you don't need to do anything with him, but Huang needs, needs to be chatted to and everything. Is something the matter? No. I just want to sell you cooking recipes. Oh, you're not an animal. A, 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 an animal. The van's up at 2 already. So that was quite easy, but Huang, oh my goodness! Still at 2! What do I have to do to get you to 3 musical notes? Honestly. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is go see the Harvest Goddess. Uh, we can maybe do a bit of fishing, stuff like that. Maybe go see my pregnant animals and just make sure that they're well fed and all that sort of thing. At the moment I have one pregnant rabbit. So in the coop I'm only ever going to have one pregnant rabbit. And there's only going to be a few more iterations of that. And a few more uh, pregnancies and we're going to be all done. Farm's looking great. Apart from a few weeds and stones that just need to be picked up and dealt with. And then we've got a couple of pregnant animals inside. Yay! Golden eggs every day. 
super duper, super duper whooper. I don't know how you get the, the, the bigger ones than golden eggs, though. Maybe you have to be like, have won the thing and be at 10 hearts and this and that and the other. But we shall make some mayonnaise. And I shall feed my little rabbit, rabbit. Hello, Maple. Nom nom. Are you happy? Maple has two days left to go. Ah. Oh, well, that might be at the end of this. Yeah, well, let's go before we do any like sell any of the eggs or anything. We'll go and have a chat to everyone first. Firstly, oh, I tried to talk to the chickens, and sometimes I hit the door instead by accident. Gin and lullaby, lullaby, lullaby. Oh yeah. Any of you up to up to nine yet? No, no, no. Mona's still not up to nine. Probably take a few more days for that one. Well, Lolly at six. Rue at still at five. What do I need to do to make Rue happy? I have no idea. Good grief. But yeah, I've just decided at this point to just just try my best to to grow the grass up this way um, if I can. And if I can't, I can't. If I can, I can. Well done, guys. Doing a good job there. Obviously, this kind of onion field is not doing very well because it got hit by a rock. But I was feeling pretty thankful that that was the worst thing that it hit was like about five onions that I won't have now. Five or six onions. And then there's like one patch of pumpkins, which is a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, I'll cope with it. There's a like one little pumpkin there that's not so... So one thing I could definitely do each day as well, just to get myself a little bit more grass, just to go around the edge here and then let the grass grow back. However, I do wonder whether there's a certain amount it will grow each day in, in each direction and whether like pushing it to grow into the spaces would be a better idea. I'm not really sure. Is there anything else I wanted to do today? Oh yeah, Harvest Goddess and then animals. Yo, I'm here to pick up the stuff in your shipping bin. Okay. Today's just a bit of a day to do whatever I want, really. So that sort of day is never, never hurts to use my axe a little bit, because that's something I really need to get sorted. And it also never hurts to do a bit of fishing and obviously give the Harvest Goddess some nice presents. So that hopefully by winter time, if I can give her a present every day until winter, I'm pretty much almost guaranteed to have the, the mine elevator by that point. Because I definitely gave her some last year as well. And I think it's if you get 100. So we shall hope. Oh, yeah, too late to go in there and check. I was going to say, oh, while we're down here, we could check in the carpenters and see if we're how much lumber we need for the house because I keep forgetting because I'm silly. Right, so I've got some eggplants I could give. Well, if it isn't Sheila, how lovely of you to come see me again. I always appreciate the offering. I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was all we got today. I wonder if Jennifer's around. She tends to go to the pub more in the evening, so... Oh, some red grass. Nice. She is here. Hey, wonderful. I'll give you some honey. I do know you well. Let's have a chat. Okay, that is just the standard chat. The standard Jennifer chat. So we're not going to worry too much about that one. Um, the other thing that I could do around here is take my hammer and grab myself a little bit of stone as well. Come on, Sheila, don't pass out on me. Maybe we'll just catch, we'll just grab one stone today. Bit of lumber there. 
My bag is full. I cannot pick up the green grass. Oh no. Oh well. I have to go pop a few things away. Like all the lumber and stone. That's what's ho hogging my inventory up. As, as well as the weeds. So we'll sell the weeds as well. And I've got fodder that needs to go into the barn. Just, just generally everything is just clogging my inventory up, isn't it, at the moment? Uh, so that's all of that. Boom. Put away the stone and the lumber and stuff into my cabinet. I do have stones and sticks there. Um, sometimes when I get time, I just like chuck them on the ground and then just uh, chop them all up. And that helps a bit with uh, collecting lumber and stone. So we're up to 71 pieces of stone and 319 pieces of lumber. And I'm kind of thinking I might not upgrade like the fodder place. And How much am I allowed in there? Look, so store total 133 bushels. I don't think I need to do more than that. Okay, everyone is slipping and, and they're also in my way. I can walk through them. Right, so Casey. Right, so Casey now has a fleece, which is really interesting because I want to see how that works with the yarn maker. Little Cthulhu. I need to give him a little brush to. I need to give Squeezel a little brush. Need to give uh, Rue a little brush and also a milk. Apparently, I'm a little out of stamina right now. Okay, uh, I need to. Should I take? Uh, I'll eat some moon dumplings. It's cool. I'll milk. Let's go. And I'll milk Lolly. Lolly, that looks like a big thing of milk. Hmm, interesting. And I think that's it for everyone else. I, th I don't think Squeezel or Skewiff are ready to be shorn yet. When Squeezel is ready to be uh, ready to be shorn, then we will make her pregnant. So the next thing I want to do is to feed Miss Buttercup, uh, Miss Bubbles over here even. Bubbles won't have eaten today. And Bubbles has three days left to go, so we're going to have a rabbit in two days and a baby strawberry calf in three days. Right, I'm going to head down to the coop now. And because uh, I, I have a question that I want answering, and I want the question I want answering is how much yarn do you get from a sheep fleece? Is it two or is it one? I'm not going to find that out in the mayonnaise maker, am I? No. It is one. Now that's interesting. Now for a sheep fleece, that would have sold for about 700. Instead it will sell for about... The yarn will sell for about 900. So that was worth doing. 920 because it's a medium yarn. It was worth doing at this point, but it's not going to be worth doing once we get these really nice fleeces that actually sell for more than the yarn sells for. So I've got to keep a real eye on the shipping prices and uh, find out when I get to the point where the fleeces are just not worth it. Also, I have milk to make into cheese. Rats, should have done that. In the other place. In the barn. So we're just gonna spend the whole evening running backwards and forwards between the the barn and the and the uh, uh and the coop. Ah, let me through. Let me through. Okay, so uh, she's maker. And we do have enough now for a butter maker or another yarn maker. So we'll see tomorrow what we actually got in there. Uh... Right, okay, so let's go to bed. Um, I could put a little plant, in, a little flower, pink cat flower into my vase there. Let's head to, head to bed. 
And what I'm really interested in, so we made like five grand that day just in animal products and a small like harvest of crops. It's pretty good. Okay, so I didn't do any fishing. Okay, so first thing I want to do today is to have a little look at Knives and Forks Tasty Time. Matusaki rice. Oh, I know how to make that. Nothing new for me. That's still worth doing. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is to have a look at the weather for tomorrow, because that's important. No! Oh no! It's gonna be raining! <laughs> Ooh! That means he won't be selling pets. That's the first opportunity I would have had to get a pet off van and... No go. No penguin for me. You should see my face right now is really sad. Really, really sad face. I'll go and check anyway, just on the off chance. But I've been told that in rainy weather he'll not be there, so... Mm. I'll try and check. I'll go to the pub as well and see if he's around there. So we'll have to hope for the autumn then, won't we? I could get really unlucky and not have a pet for years. And then suddenly I'll have all the pets. So this is starting to grow nicely. But we do have a big rock in the way and that's not helping. So let's get that gone. But first let's let the animals out. And I'm just going to go run around, you know, make, making my fishing rod uh, go up a level. And also I'm going to be just checking on all the animals and also I'm going to... I'm just disappointed right now. <laughs> it's such a nice day today as well. And then it's going to be raining tomorrow. So upset. Did I let the, did I let the, the other animals out? Oh yeah, I let everyone out. Cool. Hang on. You've got a bobbly head, Squeezel. You know what this means? Right. Pregnant Squeezel. I also need to go feed the pregnant animals. Honestly, it'll be nice, because if the, the animals do get to the point where... Um, where they're all like 10 hearts and stuff and I don't really have to worry about them too much and they've all been through all their breeding cycles and everything like that then I can maybe have a sprite come and just feed them every day and help out but at the moment I've got too much that I want to do with them it must be so lonely being the pregnant animal when you're the only one As far as I'm aware, there's nothing that you get special from uh, from incubating a giant egg. As far as I'm aware. Now your nice for me. So I'm making loads of money right now. And I'm wondering whether I should just keep a little bit of it aside. Or not, I don't know. But yeah, the yarn maker I'm a little bit like miffed at, honestly. It's going to be amazing for the rabbits, but I don't know about the one in the barn. Maybe the one in the barn does like more if it has a bigger fleece or something. I, I will maybe go and look that up. Like, that's the sort of thing, it's quite a big um, outlay of expenses just for something that might be a little bit of a convenience for me. So if we head up to the library, I'm just gonna gonna just do some checks on the shipping prices for the fleeces. 
I'll also go and see Huang and everything. I'm trying to see him every day. And you know, while I'm there, I may as well see Kai every day. Oh, it's going to be too late by the time I've been in the library, though. Ugh. Right, so. If you look at it. See, like an X egg is 350 and then an X mayonnaise is 800. It's like an amazing markup. A golden egg is 200 and the golden mayonnaise is 300. So when you get the P for platinum, I imagine, and X for like extra large, I guess. Shit, like, I'm, I, I, I want to just have a little look right now. I apologize for this. Um, I want to know how to get the big eggs because I'm, 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 I'm gonna just look this up. <laughs> uh, story of seasons, friends of Mineral Town. Egg. Okay, so. To get a platinum egg, you have to win the chicken festival and have your chicken at 8 to 10 hearts before your chicken may lay these, and they have to have spent 600 hours outside. Well, I send them outside quite a lot, so that would just happen in time, I guess. And then a chicken that, ge that generally lays the platinum eggs may randomly sometime lay an X egg, just every so often, just when they feel like it. So, yeah. I just need to let them outside lots and get them at 8 to 10 hearts. So, yeah, where they are right now and just uh, put them all through the chicken festival. Okay, cool. Well, I hope I sometimes do get those things. That would be amazing. Um, so anyway, I imagine it's probably the same with the, the other ones. So yeah, they, they get usually about five hours of, of outside time a day and it's been quite a lot of days. I don't know if there's a way to check how, how long they've been outside total, but I guess I'll know when they start laying platinum eggs. <laughs> That's when I'll know. So, anyway, strawberry milk, for example, the extra large one. Like, I think cheese is always better. Platinum cheese is always better. Yeah. So I don't get it with the yarn and the fleeces, because wool, like a... a, a, a a large wool, okay, not a golden wool, just a large wool, 1300. Large alpaca fleece, 1300. Large rabbit for 720. So it's like half as expensive for the rabbit ones. And then yarn is 1400, so it's like only just, it's worth it, but like only just worth it. So I am a little confused. I mean, that might be another thing to look up, actually. Um, so if I look up, like, wool, for example, on this wiki. Or yarn, yarn. Let's look up yarn and see if it says anything about it. Okay, yarn maker. Let's have a look at that. Because I just don't understand this pricing. This pricing seems dumb. It seems really dumb. It seems fine for the rabbit fur. No, it doesn't say anything more about like different yarn makers giving you more yarn or anything like that. And yet, oh, I've been tabbing out too much. And yet, you know, 3,600 for an extra large wool. 4,000 for an extra large, like, alpaca fleece. And 3,200 for an, an extra large yarn. It's like, what's the point? Unless you get two. So I will continue to, for science, all of this. Up to large, though, it's worth putting in. Even if it's only, like, 10 extra points. 10 extra gold. Oh, let's go to let's go see Huang anyway. Even if we don't get to see Kai, sometimes I'll miss Kai. But like, I really want to like get Huang to like me because then I can sell her food. I'm good at making food now, so it'd be good if I could sell some of it. 
But he does not like me enough yet. I have not given him enough apples. Oh, Kai, you're outside. Nice. Very nice. Do you like honey? Yeah, yeah kind of likes honey. All right. I'm trying not to look up too much stuff, but some of the prices is kind of doesn't just doesn't make sense. Ah, many thanks. I like this very much. Oh, I need to talk to Kai when I go outside as well. I forgot. All right. So, did that change anything? It's so difficult to get to like you. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh... Ah, oh, this takes so long, I may have to look up a favourite of his or something, because, like, oh my goodness. I keep giving him presents and it doesn't change anything. <laughs> He's the harvest goddess likes me. <laughs> I'm so upset that it's going to be raining. Oh, I said to talk to Kai, didn't I? It feels like time passes at more of a crawl here than it does in town, the town where I live. Yeah, because nothing's happening. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> Could give them a present, though. You. you always give such lovely gifts to the townspeople. If you're going to give gifts, you should give them out to everyone, you know? Bad rumours will start circulating if you're only generous with folks who are young, single and ready to mingle. Well, to be honest, everyone likes you enough that you probably don't have to worry. But anyway, thank you. I love it. Oh, do you cook much by any chance? I teach you how to make mashed potatoes. Are you ready? You need to memorise this. If you want to fetch something to write the recipe down on, that'd be best. Go ahead, I'll wait. Mm. Uh, do I have something? Oh, no, no, no. I love to talk, so I'll just tell you, all right? Potato butters, milk, pot, rolling pin, oven, seasonings, heat potatoes in the oven, crush them, mix them with butter and milk. Ugh. She talks so much. You read that if you want to talk to her. We got mashed potato recipe though, which is lovely on a day where we got a, a duplicate recipe. Anna likes the honey. Wonderful. Just trying to give gifts where I can, but I've got to try and remember which who I've who's at ten hearts now, because I don't want to be give. I'm sure they're not. So I do still need to give Rick one, but Lilia and Popery I've stopped giving gifts to because I don't want Popery as a love interest. Then I think it's just um, Brandon who does still need gift for the hearts. Uh, Jeff, okay, nothing for Jeff anymore. Dudley and the Doctor are really close to 10 as well. They pro I probably don't even need to do anything. I probably like festivals and stuff will just bump them up anyway. Kai really needs loads of presents. Really struggling with him. Um, Gots were just getting given him presents when I go to see Brandon. Seems to have helped a lot. Jennifer is still really struggling. I give her loads of honey. I don't understand. She maybe not quite like it as much. Maybe she's just being really polite. <laughs> In Huang, I'm sure Huang was supposed to like apples, but Harvest Goddess is also at 10, but I still need to give her presents. So really, it's just Lilia, Potpourri, Jeff, and Zach that I don't want to be giving presents to anymore. I've got a, a slowly diminishing list of people to give things to. The next two that I won't need to give anything to anymore will be the Doctor and... Uh, who was the other one? Dudley. Alright, so, um, we've done all my milking and everything today, done all of my stuff I need to do. No, we haven't milked. I have not milked, but we have collected eggs, I think. I made them into mayonnaise, if I remember rightly. Yeah. So let's go and milk all the cows. Well, not, let's not milk the cows yet, actually. Let's go see the harvest goddess, give her a present, and then we'll milk the cows once they're back in the barn. And also, I'll make sure I feed the, any pregnant ones. I believe I've already fed my pregnant rabbit, but not the pregnant uh, other animals. I've not been in the barn yet. Hello, Harvest Goddess! Isn't she love? How lovely of you to come see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Goodness, you've been so kind visiting me so often. I simply must return this favour with a little gift. White grass? Yeah. Please come see me again soon. Alright, so that's maybe like 
a tenth gift or something. So it might we might be at 50, we might be at 60, something like that. Not sure. Could be at 70 already. I'm not, I don't know. Try to give her a gift almost every day, so it's gonna start getting there, definitely. But I am so, 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 so sad. You're welcome, little one. Get some honey off the trees as well and give them to the ones I haven't given a present to yet. Like mint. There you go. They are super happy little dudes. I love the sprites just because they are, they're like, they kind of remind me of ferrets. Like ferrets are as happy as those sprites are. Although Ares sometimes has like, there is a thing called hob attitude. Basically when you've got intact hobs, they, they have a little bit of a teenager attitude going on sometimes and it's really funny. <laughs> he's like a little teenager. And like at the moment he's been really sleep he's been like a sleepy teenager. He's been like like had this like scruffy haircut going on as well. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm getting rid of these. I don't like them. So while we wait for the animals to go back inside, I may as well just clear them out. Right, so we need, we do now have a pregnant squeezel, which is great. Um, so what I'm hoping, I don't know whether it's the autumn or the spring that has the fluffy festival. I just know it's not the summer. The summer is the moo moo one and the chicken one. There might be a fluffy one twice a year. I think it would be good if there was a fluffy festival twice a year because uh, there's so many fluffy animals. Right, I need to do some milk in. We only need to feed pregnant animals today, and probably not even Squeezel, because Squeezel has been outside. And then Root needs to be brushed. And have a chat. Uh, Cthulhu needs to be brushed and have a chat. Weasel still needs to be brushed and have a chat. Oh my goodness, there's like a million of them on top of each other. Squeezel, come back here. Okay, that might be that might be a, no, a non-starter. That one. Fodder for bubbles. Bubbles has two days left to go still. I'll be next episode, I reckon. That one. Squeezel probably has like a million days to go, like twenty-one or something. I, I can't talk to them. It's, it's it's bad. But yeah, I need to be letting those chickens out as much as I can for the rest of the year so they could get their 600 hours in. I knew there must have been a difference between uh, a gold egg laying uh, chicken and a platinum one. So I'm imagining, well, I hope it's not like 600 hours after they get the gold status. Maybe it is. There's a possibility. We'll have to see. If it is, then we've got another year to wait to get platinum eggs, which is, like, really crazy. Actually, no. T tonight, I am going to fish. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. I really do need to work on this fishing rod. I'm just going to save my money at the moment. Uh, I can make... I could get the butter maker, but I'm kind of, like, a little bit worried that I want enough money in the bank as well. The other thing I could do is a house upgrade. I definitely want to be using my money at the moment. Absolutely want to be doing that. Um, but it's just... Don't want to run out if I need something like expensive seeds or, or anything like that. Or an upgrade on one of my tools. Comes up and I want to do that. Oh no, got away. I've got another couple of casts to do yet. Big fish! Okay, one more and we're going in. And then I get to cry all day because Van isn't around. Oh, 
It might be that the, the, the penguin just was not meant for me this year. So I call it a night, yes. So we made 4,000 in animal products today, which is amazing. So we tend to be making four or 5,000 every day, which is so great. And it's raining. That is so annoying, because it means my chickens can't come outside. However, let's have a look at the sprites. And oh, they got loads of time left on their thing, on their contract. So it kind of wasn't probably worth telling them not to come today. Why are you guys still... What are you doing? Ah, tomato harvest. That's what you're doing. I wonder what all those sounds were. So yeah, we best go and uh, feed all the animals. I'll just tidy up the yard a little bit. And I, you know I'm going to go check the, the marketplace anyway. Well, that's just my luck, isn't it? Just my luck. But yeah, what I'm hoping is that I can start to encourage the grass. Now it's like very nicely um, starting to fill in over here. That I can encourage it to go up. I'm just going to try and keep it away from the, the plants and everything. Try and keep it in a nice square. But I'm very upset that it got to the 15th and there was no... There was no sunny day. Boo. Right, so anyway, I've got loads and loads of fodder from outside, so everyone needs to be fed today. Bit of a challenge, isn't it, when uh, when it's a rainy day and you've got to feed all of these animals and there's so many of them and they're all on top of each other so you don't know who's eating what. Luckily it doesn't let them eat more than one. Bubbles. I think it's nine animals at the moment. I think it's four cows, two llamas, and three sheep. They're not llamas, they're alpacas. Llamas are way meaner than alpacas. So, um, no fluffy festival coming up. So, let's see if we can get a shearing. There you go. So we'll take that uh, fleece down. So the fleece at the moment uh, will sell for 740, I believe. And I think it'll sell for 920 if I put it through the yarn maker. And I'll get a nice load of money from the tomato harvest as well, which will be amazing. Uh, grab some of these grapes. I don't always manage to get time to grab the grapes every day, but it, on a day like this where it's a nice day, and that's cool. Oh, you know, I should have brought... Uh... You know what? Before I do anything more with the animals, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and check the market square. On the off chance that he's somehow there. And then I'm also going to check the tavern on the off chance that he's also possibly there. Um, but I, I think my, my chances are scuppered if it's raining. Which really sucks. Yeah, I have no van there. He'd be there by now, I think. Moo Moo Festival is on the summer the 20th at Rose Plaza. I'll probably be putting Rue in for that. I'll go and brush Rue in a minute. Moozy on down with your best cow and show everyone how wonderful they are. So I hope I can get a winner. But then part of me is like, if I get a seven hearter that's a winner, that's going to be so frustrating as well. Because it's like, no, ah. I'm going to want to sell that cow because I'm going to want a ten hearter. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. Tough decision to make. I'm looking at the tavern. Dudley, have you seen Van today? No, I'm not here to unwind. I'm here to find Van, but Van's maybe not here. I don't know. He came here last Wednesday. 
Oh, he is here today. Hello. And there's a record that I can buy from my record player. Cool. So, yeah, I guess on the 15th, if he doesn't go to the plaza, he sets up in the pub. But I'm guessing that if he sets up in the pub, then he doesn't sell any pets. Sucks. Hey, around, here's some honey. Okay, I'm gonna go see Kai and Huang again. Maybe I'll get a third musical note. Can't believe how long this is taking to get. Like, he, he went up to two reasonably quickly, and then, like, it took forever for him to go up to three and four. Well, we don't even have him on three yet. Hello, Kai. Have my last orange. Oh, or maybe... Don't have my last orange. Have this honey. You're so welcome. Hey, mister, here's an apple for you. It's like watching a... a ah, three! Yes! It's like watching a kettle... A pot boil, isn't it? Never happens. But yeah, I'm pretty upset right now. I always hope to get my pet. I had my horse taken away, taking me ages to get a pet, and then when I did get a pet, it... <sighs> so we've had like at least two, if not three, white grasses. I reckon a white grass might be every ten. So I reckon that might have been my fiftieth visit to the harvest goddess. Possibly 60th, because I've definitely had more than one white grass. Well, I've been in here already, but I didn't... I don't think I brushed and talked to Rue. Even if I don't brush and talk to anybody else, it's important to brush and talk to Rue. Squeezel. There's 20 days left to go. Bubbles will give birth soon. Next couple of days. And then Cthulhu was all the way over here for some reason. But I believe I fed all of the animals already. So if I try and give them any more fodder, they will not accept it. Even I'll uh, just check I didn't miss Cthulhu because Cthulhu's like wandered all the way over there. But I think Cthulhu must have been over here earlier. So now I need to go feed the chickens and go get their lovely mayonnaise. And go throw that fur through the yarn maker. I should have put the milk through the cheese maker as well, but I'm terrible at remembering things. Ooh, I've got a lot of things to put through the yarn maker today then. All the rabbits have got fur today. Ha ha. So that's two mediums and a medium alpaca fleece as well. isn't it how they didn't stack we'll just make sure that they uh, have the same prices so 920 on those and 920 on those yeah okay I feel like we're doing, still doing quite well though. I'm going to sell all the grapes as well. So it's already 2,700, 2,700, 4,300 ish. 
And then I've got the milk to turn into cheese, and that'll be another 900. And the sprites will have sold all the tomatoes for me. This will be another few hundred as well. This is pretty good. So I am kind of wondering whether over the next couple of days I might I might just want to take the adamantine and go and get the butter maker started to be made. I might save up a little more money first, so maybe we'll go do that like next ne next episode, maybe on Saturday or something like that. <sighs> I'm sad, 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 sad that I couldn't get a pair. So sad, so utterly sad. Have I seen the harvest god yesterday? I don't know. I can't remember. I just get the impression that mine elevator would be super useful. If I could get that by next year, that would be very good. And I save up loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of food and get all the cool stuff that I want. I'll have, I think by the end of the year, by the time we get into winter, I'll probably have most of the buildings I want. Yes, I had a very strong suspicion that uh, she would not be giving me any white grass or anything like that today. So I think that's every 10. I'm convinced of that. So I can maybe dig up some tree stumps. Uh, I've done everything with my animals, so dig up some tree stumps and do some fishing, I guess. Fishing cup. I don't like to do too much fishing in a row though, I like to just do bits and bobs. But I definitely want to try uh, some of the better fishing spots soon, like like the winter mine for example. But I'd love to do that with a mithril um, fishing rod. Also mithril I don't have to go and get anymore, I can just buy it off van now, which is so good. I think I do have a couple of bits of mithril just stored by for upgrades anyway though. But that might be where I get my like treasure chest, treasure trash, treasure chests. <laughs> oh, that one got away. Okay. I wonder if the ones that are getting away are like really good ones. Ah, oh, Miss Jennifer, there. That's fine. Yeah, I find that some villages are much easier to get to like me because they seem to come to all the festivals and stuff and I think they get like, they get some sort of natural bonuses for coming to festivals and me talking to them and and just for me being there in general. But Huang seems to be one that really isn't, doesn't come out and doesn't do a lot. So a bit difficult. I hear rumours that you can apparently romance Huang, but it's really, really difficult. Possibly Kai as well, although Kai might have hearts. Apparently you can almost, you can also like romance Bon Vivant. <laughs> it's like, how on earth? I take you years to do that. Bon Vivant literally comes like once a year to see you and then you want to give them a present. Hope for the best. I'm hoping that this long fishing session will, will They've given me a little bit of extra. I really do feel that if you catch a fish, you should get extra EXP to just like casting the rod. It shouldn't just be EXP from casting the rod. I have a feeling it is though. I have a feeling that if I stand there and just go, I'll get more EXP than actually fishing, which is very irritating to know. Uh, we're at thirty-eight percent though, so we got a little bit of a, a got a little bit of a boost from that because we were at thirty-five the last time I checked. So that's another three percent. So another little go like that will be into the forties. Um, so another few fishing set sessions, I reckon, will be at fifty percent, and I think that's where we possibly get to gold. Um, the axe is at sixty-four, so if it's not fifty, it'll definitely be sixty. 
So we just gotta keep it on going, but I probably need to head back now actually, saying that. Oh no, there's a stick. I can't just not pick things up. Well, I sometimes do when I don't realise that there are things to pick up, but... 34,000 now. Yeah, I kind of do think I should just be spending my money on stuff at this point. So, yeah, that was a bit of a non-episode, unfortunately, because I really, really wanted to get my pet. And the weather was totally against me. So, it'll be what a with a bit of luck whatever is in autumn if not then maybe whatever is in winter i think he does still come in winter i think he comes in every season with a different kind of pet so as much as you guys wanted a penguin i don't think the penguin's going to be happening it'll be something else so anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode regardless i hope you uh, enjoyed me getting my new recipe for mashed potatoes from manor <laughs> and uh and just generally enjoyed watching me um get the animals prepped and get my golden eggs and check on the whole yarn situation and all that sort of thing. So there's a few things we did learn today, um, knowing as well that it's going to be 600 hours of outside time to get our eggs sorted uh, uh, to platinum as well. So that's going to be really cool because it's just going to happen for me. Like I I'll let the chickens out and eventually they will start laying platinum eggs. And uh, each year I'll get one more chicken that can lay those golden and platinum eggs. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.